Motor imagery is a cognitive process in which a subject means a person imagines that she or she performs a movement without actually performing the movement and without even tensing the muscles. It is a dynamic state during which the representation of a specific motor action is internally activated without any motor input. With that in mind, let's have a deeper look into this. I am Dinwan Jayakrama and welcome to the world of Internet of Thoughts, Chapter 5. Sensory motor skills are the basic foundation for learning. All the activities and movements we did as infants, toddlers and children help prepare our body and our brain to learn. These skills are essential to develop the ability to participate in classroom activities and affect academic achievements. Physical activities promote dual processing of the brain which means the integrated use of both our brain's hemispheres which research shows is imperative to learning. Sensory and motor skills build on the foundation of our innate abilities. Sensory skills are those such as vision, hearing, touch, smell, taste, vestibular and proprioception. They are responsible for receiving information. Motor skills relate to muscles and movement and include crawling, walking, running, handwriting and speaking. Motor skills give expression to the information our senses receive and process. It has been shown that mental imagery of a motor action can produce cortical activation similar to that of the same action executed. For instance, the execution of a hand movement results in the suppression of new rhythm 8 to 12 Hz in sensory motor regions and so does the motor imagery of the corresponding hand. By monitoring signal trials, EEG signals and measuring event-related desynchronization, it is even possible to detect whether the imagined hand was right or the left one. Talking about working memory. It is a cognitive system that stores and manipulates currently relevant information for a short period of time. In sport, expert performers are adept to prioritizing specific contextual and more relevant information in order to anticipate opponents' offensive plays. Clearly, expert athletes have developed elaborate mental representation that facilitate superior WM functioning. They also show superior WM span for visual presented movements compared to less skilled counterparts. Motor imagery based brain computer interface is one of the standard concept of BCI. And the users can generate induced activity from motor cortex by imagining motor movements without any limb movements or external stimulus. To control a BCI, the user has to perform a mental imagery task and generate distinguishable brain activity for signal processing algorithms. Modulation of one's own brain signals is not an intuitive task and therefore the user needs to practice and learn the BCI skills. However, an efficient learning of a skill requires optimized training protocol that consider the user's psychological state such as motivation, attention, confidence and satisfaction in order to ensure more effort and better performance for the user side. As a summary, motor imagery can be defined as pictures in the mind or a visual representation in absence of environment input. For most of us, mental imagery during state of wakefulness is faint or difficult to manipulate. The best way to make imagery more vivid is to imitate the conditions of sleep. Motor imagery also helps with training enhance motor learning, neural recognition, and cortical activation in neurological disorder patients. So I hope you all learned something about motor imagery of a human brain. So that's a wrap up for chapter 5 video. I'll see you around.